and sometimes actually doing transducer pressure intentionally can provide better conspicuity by getting the nerve closer to the surface and helping distinguish some of the features. So as long as we're aware of the amount of transducer pressure we're using, we can use that as an effective tool. Now here's an example of it moving. We can see with little pressure to more pressure and we'll see that change. And that changes the effect of our image. So that helps us to some extent. Now another trick that is helpful when finding nerves that you're not as familiar with seeing is identifying a more characteristic landmark. Oftentimes those are bony landmarks. And bony or sometimes muscular, vascular, or tendon landmarks that you have greater familiarity will provide a sense of where the nerve is. For example, using the lunate in the carpal tunnel space, the ulnar humeral joint to find the median nerve at the level of the elbow. When identifying areas of enlargement, sometimes we can't always tell if it, we're looking at a nerve window that we're not as familiar with, that's when we should incorporate side-to-side -side comparisons. And here's a side, side comparison of the deep branch of the radial nerve and long axis. If you were not familiar of its relative size, you can do a similar window on the opposite side and determine that this is significantly enlarged. Another example of the same where the difference is a little more subtle, but you can distinguish that this radial nerve is enlarged compared to the one on the opposite side over a diffuse area.